Hi everybody, welcome to Katie in the morning and welcome to Monday. I hope you guys all had a fabulous weekend. I'm Katie Page, Director of Member Relations at the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. We are now a week away from National CNA Appreciation Week. Um, I, I just want to throw a quick reminder out there to you guys that we do have the NACA Boxo button sale going on right now um, in the NACA Pro Shop. That is 100 buttons for $45. It comes with five different buttons, 20 of each. The I'm everyone, I'm someone, I'm everyone's strong side. Well, kind of. Um, I'm someone's strong side. CNA because All Star is not an official title. This is what an awesome CNA looks like. The CNA Superstar and CNA, I put the pro and professional. That box comes with 20 of each of those buttons and the sale does end one week from today and then each of those buttons will go up to 50 cents a piece. So today we're gonna to talk about leading by example. Um, it's not something that's very easy to do. Uh, we all have our own thought process, um, our own struggles in our personal life, and I know they tell us to leave those at the door, but that is not as easy as it sounds. Uh, especially the preceptors out there, if you guys are training new CNAs and orientating them into the long-term care field, um, you literally have to be at your best 100% of the time that you're there um, showing this professional person that you are on a daily basis and even one little freak out or one little episode can tarnish your entire image that these, this person has for you. Um, another thing that I'd like to point out about leading by example is it's not just in those walls. It's not just in your place of employment. Uh, for example, uh, probably 10, 12 years ago, we'll say, um, I was friends with this girl and she was one of the lead CNAs uh, at the place that I worked fabulous. I mean, got everything done on time. Her residence always looked amazing. Her, you could go down her hallway and literally bounce a quarter off of the beds that she made. But outside of those walls, um, I ran into her downtown once and she was like the most wretched little witch you've ever met in your life. And it's just that, that, that example, um, of being that positive person, it, it spills over outside of those walls, let's just say that. So if you're putting this professional image out of your out on yourself and then three hours later, if you're on the evening shift and you're out at the bar posting selfies of yourself sitting on top of the bar shirtless, that's not, that's not a good example to set. Besides putting that out on social media, um, a lot of places nowadays, when they when you go to interview, do their background check, they'll also look for you on Facebook to see what kind what your profile looks like, um, what image you're putting out to the rest of the world, and that is a prime ex example of leading by example. Uh, so if you are kind of have like a sailor's mouth and that's constantly on your timeline, your your profile is public, future employers are going to go back and they're going to look at that profile. Social media plays such a huge role in everything that we do nowadays. Um, when it comes to like the changes that evolve within the facility and with healthcare period, that is a great way for you to step up and be an example to other people. Um, if they're kind of criticizing what's, I mean, change is not a good thing in a lot of people's minds when it's, when it's a new change, it's something fresh that they're having to adapt to and learn. Uh, but if you kind of step up and say, Hey, let's give this a try. Or if you're training a new CNA, we'll take this one for example, for an example, <laughs> uh, say you're training a new CNA and they are doing peri care on somebody and you're observing them, say it's their third day of orientation, you've done the one day of watching, um, one day of assisting them, and the third day you're observing them and you notice that they're wiping back to front rather than front to back. Uh, rather than kind of correcting them and saying, no, you're doing this wrong, say, hey, let me show you a better way of doing this, or this is how I would do it. It kind of gives that positive vibe, and it's something that they're going to remember because you're not um, criticizing them or downplaying what they're trying to do. You're just giving them a better way of doing it. Uh, that's one very good example of leading by example. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about some other examples that you can try in your facility. I promise you, in a NACA facility, residents get better care because they're being cared for by a higher educated, and I'm not talking college, I'm talking a person that has industry education. This makes them the best at the bedside, and we've proven it time and time again. NACA takes care of our CNAs, the most important force within any long-term care community. What a pleasure it has been and will continue to be to have the partnership that we have in Arizona. And I would really encourage other states to do the same. Any facility out there that may be watching this that would like to go through the NACA process of transformation, you get a hold of NACA and we'll be there to serve with excellence every day, all day, anytime you need us. For more information, visit us online at nacacna.org or call 417-623-6049.
Welcome back to Katie in the Morning. Today we're talking about leading by example. And that doesn't just pertain to our coworkers or the people that we're training. It also pertains to the residents. In one of our previous segments of Katie in the Morning, we talked about body language and kind of the vibe that you give off to people. That is one of the things that plays a huge role in leading by example. Um, just like kids, uh, residents kind of read your your aura, so to speak, and they react to the way that you're reacting. So if you're putting like that good vibe out there and putting an example out of how you would like them to react to you, uh, that's always the best way to go, especially in the dementia care units. Um, I know alarms are uh, a minimizing thing in facilities, but if you're training a new person and you have a resident that has an alarm going off, um, one of the things is to like react in a positive way. Don't tell that person, you've gotten up 15 times during this shift and I can't get anything else done. You know, show them how to redirect that person, how to reposition that person, how to kind of change that person's mind about what's going on and let them, the person that you're training know they could be in a completely different stage in their life than what they're actually in, especially with dementia care people. Uh, they may wake up and be a seven-year-old little boy again when they're really 92 years old. They're just kind of reliving that past, um, processing those memories in a strange way that really nobody understands when it comes to Alzheimer's and dementia. Uh, and make sure that you're explaining that to your orientees when you're training them, especially certified preceptors. Um, let them know that we need to react to their world rather than them um, reacting to ours, or we need to take action in their world rather than them reacting to ours. Um, but when, like back to my back to my main point about leading by example, um, especially the dementia care units, when you're trying to get them to do activities um, and redirect them, don't be afraid to let them kind of clean off the tables, wipe them down. Uh, those small kitchen tasks are going to help them, especially the ladies. Uh, most of them were stay-at-home moms, and the dad was out working for majority, or the husbands were out working for majority of that that lifespan. Let them interact, show them, show them how to fold the towels. If they do it wrong, don't correct them. Just let them kind of do their thing and lead them by example. Um, and speaking of leading by example, we have several individual members at NACA now. I mean, over 150. And they are out there leading by example by continuing their education on their own, um, getting a membership with NACA, getting those NACA virtual campus of care, kind of taking the initiative to better themselves and their skills and their knowledge about the professionalism that we have taken an oath to. And I just want to give a shout out to them real quick. I thank you guys all for joining me and I will see you right back here tomorrow at 10 a.m. for Katie in the morning.